Dragon is now online. Here we have started our second game. Uh, we have Sue here at uh, Creation Toss, I'm sorry, at the uh, 7 o'clock-ish position. Um, and then here we are with Sky High at the 3 o'clock position. Now, Medusa being a three-player map, right? Yes, yes? yes, it is a three-player map. And um, because of that, we uh, usually see scouting a little bit later. But this is kind of a weird three-player map. Actually, to be honest, most three-player maps, um, you know, they take a lot of practice to really get all the timings out. Um, but this one especially, because there's a neutral temple in the back of your base um, that, if destroyed, it's actually stacked, but if destroyed, you can manage to get onto the uh, the high ground, and that can really mess everything up. Protoss is actually very scared of Terrence getting away with something like that on there. All right, that those percentages, actually, Sue at 39% and Sky High at 61, includes your votes, guys. This includes not only the Koreans, but the foreign community as well. So you guys helped in creating those stats. And you guys will probably help in creating this upset if he loses. Like, um, <laughs> we've like seen so many upsetting. <laughs> There's so much upsetting in this tournament. Uh, this has probably been one of the most uh, unusual tournaments I've ever uh, broadcasted. And I've done a lot of StarCraft tournaments um, in my casting career. There, there's been so many upsets here, so be prepared for anything. Take those stats with a grain of salt. If you've been with us since the beginning, we've seen so many players who have only an 8% chance of winning, according to the vote, then um, end up winning that against some guy who's got 92. Yeah, you know what, though? I mean, a lot of people have been saying this. It, it kind of is a popularity contest, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But, I mean, they're popular for a reason. It's usually because of their past successes. Well, here's going to be Fast Nexus here. Nexus on 12. Now, the reason why you can see players get away with something like this is the mineral patches are in the back of um, your base, so it's pretty safe. Um, there was actually a period in time when um, fast expanding was pretty common in the front of your base, but the problem is Terran have developed a lot of very technical rushes to respond to stuff like that. Sky High is actually scouting just a little bit earlier than uh, normal. I mean, he could scout now and it would be fine. Actually, excuse me, he's going to go ahead and um, eat up these mineral patches in the back here. That's uh, a very smart decision as well. And from there, he'll probably go ahead and scout. Now, the reason why he wants to take up these mineral patches, and as you can see, they have zero minerals, so he doesn't benefit economically from that. Um, that's because with mineral patches like that, you can glitch a probe over a Dark Templar and sometimes uh, force him up the ramp. Ooh, sky high! Look at that neon green sign. That was... I uh... like that. I, I appreciate that she wrote that in English. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for that. All right. He spotted his opponent. He doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like he's gonna. Okay, he is gonna go back in there. I was curious about that. Normally they stay in there at least until the second marine is out. A good position um, to put yourself in if you can get away with it is you build a pylon right in front of the uh, machine shop um, where the machine shop add-on would be built, and then you cancel it right before it finishes. But that forces them to either lift off or make a vulture, and usually they want to get a tank out first. Now in a situation like this, we probably wouldn't be seeing that simply because um, the vulture early is one of the only things that could actually help him out a lot here because he did fast expand. But good protosses usually have the timing to stop that as well. Well, he's going to figure out his opponent fast expanding pretty quick here. Two Dragoons pumping out of those gateways. He's going to go up here. He wants to confirm that it is indeed a fast nexus, so he knows exactly how he wants to respond. He sees the nexus. As you can see, a Protoss not making probes. At, at this very moment, they usually uh, stop and pump out a few attacking units to make sure that they can actually hold off a rush. And Dragoon range is on the way as well. Uh oh. Look out, probe! So he loses the scouting probe. Now that he wanted to make it look as though he's actually attacking. As you can see, um, he's not attacking with everything just yet. I think he wants to intercept any more scouting probes. And I guess he's going to go ahead and go with an expansion. Now, I think this actually can be pretty dangerous uh, for the Terran. Why is that? Um, well, this is just one of these build orders. Like, Fast Nexus is, is intended to stop build orders just like this. Um, 
because what the what the uh, Terran generally does is just plant a few mines outside your base and then throw up the expansion. But Protoss isn't going to be aggressive early on. He's going to sit back and defend. But you know what? Uh, Sky High is a very strong player. He already proved he understands his opponent pretty well from that last game. Let's see exactly how he opts to play this out. Now, one advantage here is he does have the Zealot, so he can just eat up the mines with that. And he just snipes the first mine. Two more mines are planted. But from here, he can just send that Zealot in to absorb most of the mine hits. When Dragoon Range finishes, he'll probably start to move out and be aggressive again. But bear in mind, really, um, Protoss is way ahead economically. Once Protoss gets a few more gateways up here, he's going to be mass producing it. So now that that's finished. Okay, now he's going to send the zealots through here. And this is the trick, because he wants to use those zealots to absorb the mine hits. Oh, got to be careful. Damn. Now he's got to be really careful as he micros here. Really, really careful. Okay, he's going to use the zealot to absorb the other two. And there it is. The rush has failed. Oh, you can see he's pissed. I don't know what he said. He was like, mur, 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 or something like that with his <laughs> mouth, but he was mad. Okay, this is really, really bad for Sky High. I don't know if Sky High can win now. I think that was definitely the wrong way to play that out. So basically, what do you think Sky High can do now? Um, well, I don't know, actually, because Sky High is really, really behind. Sky High can uh, go ahead and try to do another timing push, maybe attack the temple that isn't far from his base, but the problem is when Protoss gets the fast Nexus up, and then gets an additional Nexus up while holding off the rush. In fact, it looks like, I don't see, I think he's going to Reaver drop. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, he is going to Reaver drop. So that means that Sky is going to have to defend that first. Now, if Sky loses um, any, anything more, I mean, he's going to be in even more trouble. And um, this is really geared to hurt the Terran's economy even more. He's going to go buy the tanks. The tanks have got to hurry up and get over there. The SCVs are quite vulnerable. And I think he might try to... Nope. What's he going to do? He was just flying over restricted airspace. Okay. Okay, he's got a lot of Dragoons out here. And, um... Let's see here. Where are we going to go from here? It looks as though uh, Terran's still anxious to push. He's putting a few more mines out here. Now, one thing you got to bear in mind, if your opponent goes fast Nexus on you, he's going to get observers out very late. So it's never a bad idea to just plant a lot of mines um, outside of his base and try to contain him to control uh, what he's going to do. But once he does get the observers out, and you can see the observatory just finished, he's going to be quite a powerful force. And I think Protoss is probably going to go for another expansion pretty soon here, um, as he should have enough gateways, uh, units, and defense here that he can get away with that. Terran just in a very, very difficult position here. Well, he's got two Reavers in here. Now, one thing about Reavers is that they're not only good at, uh, for harassment, they're good at holding off pushes as well. Especially if the Terran is going to um, soft push and not hard push. And bear in mind, they can't hard push on this map. You can't build anything in the middle of the map. So Creation Toss is definitely still in this game. He might go here for the depots. This may also be an attempt to just intimidate the Terran into making a few more turrets. just kind of uh, mulling that shuttle around without actually attacking anything. Well, this prevents the Terran from pushing any earlier. Um, I mean, the last thing Terran wants to do is lose any SCVs. So what he does, he kind of flies around here. And if there's an opening, of course, he's going to take it. But what he's really doing is making Terran move his units around here. And uh, making it look as though he's going to be really aggressive here. And um, Terran either has to make additional turrets here. Um, or he's... Damn, man, he's getting really good shots off on these mines. Oh, well, yeah, he's going to have to do something to prevent that. Really, the whole goal here is to keep Terran in his base. Also, bear in mind, Terran can't take the mineral expansion with the Reaver up there um, without taking a few casualties. And as you can see, a lot of gateways up here. Zelt legs are going to be finishing quite soon. And from there on out, it's going to be a nightmare if the Terran tries to, uh, tries to push. 
And as you can see, a little bit of harassment here. He's doing his job. He's doing it quite well. All right. A few vultures are going to try to slip in here. He doesn't want to let these vultures in. He doesn't want to let them in. doesn't want to let them in. They do get in. Unfortunately, two managed to make it back here to the minerals. Planting a few mines here. The probes are going to evacuate. And, um... Actually, I don't, is it, I don't think the Protoss is sending any units right away. He's not, certainly not sending his entire army there. There it is, one zealot. Um, probably not going to be enough. Some more units will come up there in a little bit, though. Now, Terran is hoping that the Protoss is going to put the majority of his army inside of his base so he can get some ground here, push up, maybe attack at the temple. He's going to make another Reaver. Well, the Reaver's already out, excuse me, and now he's going to use that to try to hold up the push. The push has started. This is Sky High's basically one and only uh, hope right now. He's going to go ahead and attack it anyways. He sees there's not enough Vultures. There's a few more uh, tanks coming up here from behind. If he can get those Zealots in there, though, bear in mind there's still a Reaver that can help defend here. One spider mine comes down. Uh, and yeah, Creation Toss is just doing a, a fantastic job of holding this off so far. And with the Reaver coming out here, there's no way Terran's going to get any farther across the map here. Everything is going according to Creation Toss' plan. It looks like he's getting revenge for what? that last loss. Oh, no. Loses the shuttle with the Reaver, but I think the damage may have already been dealt. I can already envision Ghost's fingers macroing up a lot more Dragoons and Zealots to reinforce this. Sky High is desperately trying to plant a circular mine defense around here to hold off anything else that may be out here. But with an observer on the way, um, I just don't see this being too much more effective um, as far as defense goes for our Terran uh, player. And, wow, I mean, Terran's already stuck way back in his base. Kuros is just picking more units down here. I expect GG pretty soon, depending on how much farther along uh, Sky High wants to play this out, because right now it just doesn't make any sense um, for the Terran to continue on with this. Temple Archive is coming up. He's going to have um, Arbiters out here pretty soon as well as Psy Storm. Running those Vultures by is going to let the, um, well, it's going to let the Protoss just bleed right in there. And when these Zealots get here, I think it's 100%. Think it, yeah. yeah. He's gone. The command Center is getting wiped out here. Looks like there's one that just got finished filling up in the back here, but he doesn't have Vespian gas for that, which means less tanks, which means less push ability. This is just bad news all around. Sky High knows that. Sky High is feeling that right now. We have a bunch of giggling girls. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a bunch of giggling girls here. Apparently, um, not Sky High fans. And GG. The GG. Good game. Creation Toss is going to be your winner for that round. We're going to go on to game three here before we enter round two, which, by the way, will be the final match of the day. Creation Toss. Sky High really feeling that one, man. Well, you know, as abruptly as Creation Toss lost that first game, I feel like, you know, when he really got back at him, Sky High just felt a bit of his own medicine right there. Yeah, um, I think Sky High handled that completely wrong. Creation Toss just played it by the books, and it worked out. Um, it seems as though when uh, Sky High was practicing at home, he wasn't practicing against Fast Nexus Bill. So, I mean, that's that. Uh, we're going to go into game three here in a little bit. I don't think we have a break, do we? Uh, not that I know of right now. Not that now. I know of. Um, We've been owned before, though, so it could happen nope, again. It says, uh, "It says, please wait. We're almost, we're almost in. No break." All right, we're going to be starting this game three here. Um, they are both in the game. Nobody's going to watch the replay. We're going to go right on uh, um, our game on. On. Can you want to say it for me? You want to say it? Chup new Chupungyong. It's called Shin, which is the word for new. Chupungyong, the Chup, same map. Chupungyong. Chupungyong. Say that ten times fast. It's the same map that we had um, earlier in our tournament in the rounds of uh, 256 and 128. Um, it is a two-player map. Now, they've uh, revamped it in a way, and I haven't actually gotten a chance to see what is so new about this, but it is um, the new Chupungyong, and uh, here we are. We're going to see it for the first time in our tournament. Yeah, I think they moved a few mineral patches around, um, if I remember right, and just moved a little bit um, of the elevation around. Um, for balance issues, because we want to make sure these maps are as balanced as possible. Generally, the first time um, a map is made, it's not quite that good. So you usually see, you know, 2.0 of the map or Neo or New, something like that. So they can adjust it just a little bit. 
after the uh, pro gamers get to test drive it a little bit. All right, so I think we are going to start. Uh, we are at one and one at the new Chupung Nyong, and uh, here we go. Let's get ready. Who's going to win? I don't know. It's going to be awesome, though, either way. Sky High against Creation Toss. Um, game only three. Game three. Shin Chupung Nyong. Winner goes to round eight. Let's find out what happens. Right now. 